Hi, I'm Maxine from Swift Digital, and I'm pleased to show you a preview of our powerful upcoming email editing tool. Without further ado, allow me to introduce Composer. Composer is a drag and drop email editor that is seamlessly integrated with the other suite modules and is packed full of features. You can create and edit emails with this state of the art tool, as well as pulling in all kinds of extra content. I'm going to give you a quick preview today. This is the Composer editor. Here you put together your emails. An email in Composer is made up of a layout, the structure of the template, and a theme, the styling for any colors, fonts, and spacing. It is also made up of rows and blocks. A block is a container for some email content, such as an image or an article. And a row is a row of blocks in a line across the page. These blocks can be filled with all kinds of different content, including articles, images, YouTube videos, navigation bars, quick links menus, social sharing icons, polls, event calendars, event RSVPs, and Google Maps. So here's an email I prepared earlier, and let's add in another block. To do this, we hover over an existing block, and options to add a row above or below the block will appear. Depending on the layout of your email, you may be able to insert several blocks into the space in a columned layout. To insert a block of content into your email, you simply drag and drop. This is an article block, and all of the standard text editing tools are available to you, with the same editor as the Office module. You can add in personalizations and event variables, as well as links to events right from the editor. You can insert read more links, as well as tables and images and all kinds of regular content. You can also choose from several layouts, which determine where any hero images will sit in this article. Go with layout 1 if the article doesn't need an image, or layouts 2 and 3 for a full width hero image. Layouts 4 and 5 have left and right aligned images. You can also determine if the article will show up in any quick links menus, and if it has social sharing icons. You can change the style for each block separately, as well as applying different permission settings and saving the block for use later down the line. You can insert images with a simple drag and drop as well. This adds a placeholder image into the block. You can insert an image from the art library, so any image you've previously uploaded to the suite, or upload one directly from your computer. Composer will resize the image for you, for both the desktop and the mobile version. If you change your mind about positioning, you can drag blocks around to rearrange them. Blocks will resize themselves to fit their new space, or let you know when the content is too wide to sit in that position. You can drag whole blocks, both style and content, or swap blocks around. You can drag and copy just the style, or just the content, all with some quick keyboard shortcuts. You can easily set up navigation bars, social sharing icons, quick links menus, polls and more by dragging the appropriate block into position and filling out the fields. This is a navigation bar. You can add and edit the link text and URLs as well as adjusting the alignment. Left, centered, right or justified. This email looks like it could use a quick links menu, so let's add one in. With a quick links menu, you can add in a heading for the menu title, as well as adjusting any introductory text if required. And any article that you have checked the quick links box on will now appear in this menu automatically. Event calendars down the bottom here have a heading and introductory text. You then select the calendar from the events module to display any events therein, and you can change the columns that appear in that calendar. So I've got the session and the start date, but perhaps we also want the venue to appear. An event RSVP is much the same, but it is linked to a single event in the events module. So we come over here and select the event. So you can sort by the event details, such as the event name or start date, as well as running a keyword search to find the event you're after. Once you've selected your event, 
you can then adjust the button text and readers can register or decline right from the email. Adding in social sharing icons allows readers to share the whole email across their social profiles. Set up the block, give it a title and it's ready to go. Polls are very straightforward too. You simply drag a poll into a block and then set up the details. You can add and edit the choices and give it a heading. Inserting a map can be very handy if your email relates to an event. Set up the block and then add in your text and the address. You can type in a free form address or pull the venue details from an event in the events module. You can choose to show this address text or not, as well as controlling the level of zoom on the map. Adding a YouTube video is very straightforward. No embed codes or cropping your own screenshots necessary. You simply paste in your YouTube URL and give the video a caption if necessary. Composer will pull in a preview image of the video and size it to fit the block. It will also hyperlink the preview image for you so that you're taken straight off to the YouTube page when you click the image. And we can see that when we preview the document. So you can preview your document as always, and new to the suite, you can now preview the mobile and text versions of an email as well as the desktop web preview. So let's have a look at that desktop view. And if we come down to our YouTube video, we can open that one up straight away. We can also check out the mobile preview, which is perfect for checking how your content stacks up in the mobile view on the smaller screen. You can send tests and publish your emails as normal and save your email to work on later. Thank you for joining me for the preview today. We hope you're looking forward to Composer.